of Route 24 in Lewis. To place your deli or carry out orders, call 302-945-0700. Radio check one, two, one, two. Jessica's juice is on. Power 1017. All right, Jess, what you got? All right, well, after years of delays, the R. Kelly trial is finally happening. Mm. Finally. Before it officially gets underway next week, though, they did pick the jury and they will eventually decide the entertainer's fate. All right. They've officially been selected. And according to Billboard, they are going to remain anonymous. Clearly, it's going to be made up of seven men and five women. They were sworn in on Wednesday and then come next week. R. Kelly will have to face them in his high profile New York City sex trafficking case. There's 12 of them. The final selections were made about three days ago. They've been sworn in, and we will see what takes place. Uh, U.S. District Judge Ann Donnelly is going to be there in federal court, and it's all going to go down in Brooklyn. Now, the main concern during this three-day screening was apparently deciding how they were going to, like, determine who could actually be on there because he's a celebrity right. and everyone knows him and he's famous, et cetera. Because you're but- supposed to not – because I remember when I went to jury duty – you know, they're like, okay, if anyone, here are the people in the case. If anyone knows, has any connection to these people or whatever, please stand. Mm-hmm. Thank you, you've been dismissed. Mm-hmm. Or if you know anything about this case, you've heard about it, please stand. All right, right. you're dismissed. But everybody's, everybody's heard about the R. Kelly trial. I know. You know, hey, so. Music, everything, everything. Um, apparently, though, one of the questions that they were asking, um, about, you know, his work level, which songs, you know, they actually knew. And they did find some juries, you know, some jurors, excuse me, that said that they, of course, know and they know the name R. Kelly, but they were not familiar with some things that were related to the case. So that's how they got chosen. Okay. Okay. Also, Kim Kardashian continuing to make the headlines with Kanye West. Apparently, she's now coming out during an interview saying that the marriage to Kanye West taught her how to live in the moment. They are going through a divorce right now, but Kim Kardashian and Kanye West continue to support one another. Kim filed for divorce back in February, ending the couple's seven-year marriage. However, during Kanye's Donda listening sessions, we all know that she was there in the audience with their children. And unlike many other celebrity marriages that dissolve, well... The world is watching, and we want to know what's going to happen. And apparently, she said, no, we are going to stay confident within each other. She says that also she got to the point, and maybe it was being in a relationship with Kanye for over a decade, that he is someone who absolutely does not care about the likability factor or what the perception is of him. Just stay true to himself. We should all be like that. And she says that that taught me to be a better, you know, person, be a better me, and just live in the moment. That's so why, she is thanking Kanye for that. That's why he's one of the most successful, she, biggest artists uh, of our time. Yeah, she's admitting that she has spent most of her life being a people pleaser, but he taught her this valuable lesson, just be herself first, and that's what's going to be what truly matters. Yep. You don't have to please everyone, she says, as long as I'm myself, as long as I'm doing it the way that I want to. You have one life. You have to live for you. And he taught me that. I'm definitely more confident in myself. And, you know, there's pictures now trending of Kanye and Kim and the kids, but they remain friends. All right. Good for and them. And Rihanna and ASAP Rocky, their love is very serious and they're coming clean about their relationship. And they are both saying that they are in it for the long haul. And by the way, ASAP Rocky is going to be at the governor's ball. Mm-hmm. All right. So 10th anniversary. We got your tickets. Yep. And People Magazine says that this romance evolved since they were friends first. They already knew and respected each other, and it's just grown from there. They love to laugh together, have a blast together before they even dated. And right now, they have a solid romance. Okay. All right. I love it. Nice. Yeah. So another source is coming out saying that they are crazy about each other, and they are together for the long term. Mm, nice. All right. So there you go, Rihanna and ASAP Rocky. Uh, we mentioned the Governor's Ball Music Festival. We got your tickets. Here's all the deets. We're sending you to 